originally known as the Church of St. Paul, San Agustin Church is the oldest stone church in the Philippines. It was first constructed by the Augustinian friars in 1571 using materials of nipa and bamboo, but was soon destroyed by fire. The second structure made of wood also suffered the same fate. The third edifice, as we see it now, was built in 1589 and completed in 1607. Located within the historic walled city of Intramuros, the famed San Agustin Church has been declared by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site in 1993. It is one of the only four churches built during the Spanish era that has been classified by UNESCO under the Baroque Churches of the Philippines. A mute witness to a historic past, it was at St. Augustine Church that the first diocesan synod was held in 1581. The Spaniards and the Americans signed the terms of American occupation of the city in the church's vestry in 1898. And it was also inside the church in 1945 that hundreds of Intramuros residents were gathered and held hostage by the Japanese soldiers. In 1953, the first plenary council in the Philippines was held at this church. Despite its simple facade, the church's doors and interiors are elaborately designed. The church interior is in the form of a Latin cross and has 14 side chapels. Enshrined inside the church is the image of Our Lady of Consolation, which was canonically crowned by Manila Archbishop Jaime Cardinal Sin in 2000. Attached to the church is a museum that houses an extensive wealth of church art and artifacts. Outside the church is a courtyard that has several granite sculptures of lions which had been donated by Chinese converts to Catholicism. Church is also the resting place of Spanish conquistadors Miguel Lopez de Legazpi, Juan de Salcedo, and Martin de Goiti, as well as several early Spanish governors general and archbishops. Remains of notable Filipinos such as Juan Luna, Pedro A. Paterno, Trinidad Pardo de Tavera, and hundreds of lay persons are also buried in a vault inside the church.